folks, we're back. I should mention this is something I've been kind of working on in my spare time, is a Let's Write of Oblivion. And for today I thought we'd do something special. Is because today something fun is going to happen. This is the Shivering Isles expansion for those who've never played it before. I highly recommend it. And Carl the Altmer. Carl Altmer. We're about to go confront Shagoroth. The saints stand strong, your grace. Good to know. Always a pleasure. For once, I'm honest to say, yes, you do. Time. Time is an artificial construct. An arbitrary system based on the idea that events occur in a linear direction at all times. Always forward, never back. Is the concept of time correct? Is time relevant? It matters not. One way or another, I fear that our time has run out. As I feared it would, my plan has failed. The Grey March is upon us, and I must go. I thought we had more time. I thought we had a chance. My plan has failed, and we were so close! You know, that's the first time I think I've heard you be, be emotional. And honestly, it's kind of getting me choked up, because I like you. Perhaps now we have failed. Yeah, what, what does happen now? You said you wanted to give me your power before, but do we have enough time for that? Actually, it's time. I mean, could you go back, back in the past and give it to me then, or... Come on, help me out. What happens is what always has happened. What always will happen. I crumble. I fade. The realm dies. And you with it. Well, that's not good. Flee while you can, mortal. When we next meet, I will not know you, and I will slay you like the others. But yeah, we haven't failed. Like you, you still have the plan. Like I can hold things together in in your absence. Optimism! Ha! <laughs> How adorable! I love it. Even at the end, you make me laugh. <laughs> I'm lying. That wasn't funny at all. Well, screw you too, then. No matter. Soon you and everyone else will be dead. And I will be left a mad god. Ruler of a dead realm. Again. Oh, no wonder you're mad if this is what you have to deal with every time. Seeing everyone you know and love die. Oh, there has to be something we can do. Something we can try to stop it. I had intended to give you my staff. The symbol of my office. But life is gone from it as it goes from me. It is now dead wood. A useless twig. With the staff, there was hope. But now, hope is dead. I am dead. The realm. <laughs> Shayogorath! Give me a hand. Dead. Always a pleasure. Not all oh, needed. Shall crumble before Always a pleasure. Honestly, that was kind of anticlimactic, I thought. I figured he'd turn right there. Ask you, what's the plan? He is gone, but hope is not lost. We have a rare opportunity here, but I hesitate to do what must be done. If the throne of madness remains empty when Jigalag storms the palace, he will prevail. But there is a chance that the throne may not be empty. 
Well, we're not going to ask that because it's pretty obvious it's me. So yeah, what what do you mean? You will sit on the throne. It has always been Sheogorath's intent for you to be the new Mad God. Oh well, yeah, the obvious problem there is that I'm an elf. Always have been, and I thought I always would be. I'm not a Daedric Prince. True, but perhaps you can hold the throne, provided that you possess the proper symbol of office, namely the staff of Sheogorath. The Wabajack! Not the Wabajack? So Unfortunately, when Sheogorath faded, the power of the staff faded with him. It must now be remade. The staff is the symbol of power in this realm. He who rightfully holds the staff may hold the throne of the Shivering Isles. However, the secrets of its construction are lost. Well, that's kind of a problem, I think. If we don't know where it is or how to make it, then... Yeah, what's the what's the plan, Bali? That which is lost can be found again. There is one being in the Shivering Isles who may be able to assist you in the construction of a new staff. The ruins of Knife Point Hollow once served as a great library. Have there you will there? find a door. Behind that door you will find the answer you seek. Although I hesitate to guide you towards this path, the secrets of the past will surely aid Jigalag, but I fear that we have no other choice. Be mindful of what you find there. The library is a thing of order, and it will still serve that end. Take this crystal. It contains the power to open the sealed door. Inside, you will find the final remnants of the library. Knife Point Hollow is near the core of the Shivering Isles. Follow the setting Wait sun to the border I of Mania. That is. Climb the cliff there to the top. At the peak, you will find Knife Point Hollow. I think I've actually seen that on my map. <sighs> yeah, so what happened to Jagorath? He is the Prince of Madness, the ruler of the Shivering Isles. Well, was, I guess. While not the source of the Daedric Prince's authority, each Daedric artifact provides that prince with a measure of power. Lord Sheogorath chose you to sit on his throne. With the staff, you may be able to do just that. Well, that kind of introduced a few questions. Is that... Enlightening as My well. understanding of things was that the Daedric Prince's Daedric artifacts drew power Mad from, God's the, from, the, from the, the princes. Oh. Like th this is from this is this is from um, this is Umbra from uh, who was it? Um the guy with the dog, I forget his name. Anyway. Ha! I thought that they drew power from the princes themselves. Oh. Not that they gave the princes the power. Wait, I should, probably, I should probably check where I'm going first. Knife Point Hollow, okay. Yeah, I've been there. It's not too far from Fetty Grove. I could probably stop in there while I'm, while I'm on the way. <sighs> Mad God's blessings, Duke of Mania. You know, I really love this DLC. It's it's great, it's colorful. I, it really breaks up the kind of almost monotony of, of Oblivion. There's a lot of new enemies and new new mechanics, like the gnarls where you have to change the elements if you're a spellcaster. Or escape the scalings where, where they're always invisible, or nearly always. At the same time, it's I wish things weren't so spread out. I also wish there was a sprint key. Oh, uh, looks like we got, got problems over there. No, maybe. Or is it just dead and still jiggling? That's also an option. You know, 
I really love that mod. Makes it so that uh, basically you harvest everything in a cell as you walk by. But I wish it would. Uh, I wish I could find a mod to take the sound away, so I don't get that <laughs> every few seconds. Oh, Naro, you're helping. Thank you. Kill those. Men. No, them, them. You know it's funny, the game will never tell you how to how to how to finish these things. I go say you need a need a heart of order. But then they say, okay, you need to put it you need to put it in, but they don't say, okay, you also need to kill the priest. Just so you know, invisibility is less than helpful when you're shooting lightning at me. Alright, that should fall it off. Oh, no, one more. Oh, right. Don't need that. Uh, sure, why not? Sorry to do some inventory management. We will check that out later on. As I've been here, I've cleared everything. Well, they have respawned already. Yep, answer yes. I cleared this area out. Guess I was wrong. All right, spell reflection. Ah. Because spell reflection penetrates my magic resistance. This place. If I recall, there's a door up there. If I can get up there. Hey, success. But the door's closed. Of course it is. Well, time to do the fun way. <coughs> Finger of the Mountain. Really good. 
Also, really good at killing your allies. So, uh, yeah. Carry effects spells. Be careful when you use them. you want it's a fight you'll get ah! did you want the fight you got it You know, I really should enchant Umbra a bit more so I can put drain mana drain magic on there. It's just a thought, but it, you know, then I wouldn't cast magic at all because Umbra's be Umbra's already super superly powerful. Well. Surprise! Why? You know, you don't realize just how freakishly, t freakishly tall those things are until you see a person right next to them. Oh, right, right. This is, I think this is the area where that skull was. Yeah, because you'd push the button, and then this 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 wall would would slide up, and there was a. There remains somebody in there. For those who've never actually read, the, never actually played this, there's a quest to get some suicides and you know, stuff like that. Okay, so here's the door. Okay, so I'm officially an idiot because. This is the door we need. This was the door we need. Have you just been sealed in here this whole time? Deuce, right? Is that your name? I have been waiting for you, Your Grace. This day, as all days before and after, is well known to me. There are no surprises to Dias of Mytheria. Dias, okay, sorry. Shea Gorath has fallen, and you seek the means to foil the machinations of the Prince of Order. You seek the throne of madness. Well, yes. However, no mortal may sit upon the throne without the staff, so here you are in my prison, seeking to supplant the one who placed me here. If you wish to take the place of Shea Gorath and... Ask me what you will. Well, tell me about yourself. What? How, how have you lasted so long here, and why are you down here? You were expecting a book. <laughs> an ancient tome filled with the secrets that you seek. But instead you have found me, the last remnant. Of what? Individuality is an illusion. The details of my existence are no more important than the history of a stone. However, if you insist, 
I once served as the keeper of the great library of Jikalak. Okay. Is this not it? Tell me about the library. The great library was the height of logic and deduction. So probably Contained not within its walls with the logical prediction of every action ever taken by any creature, mortal or daedric. Every birth, every death, the rise of Tiber Septum, the Numidium, everything, all predicted with the formula found within Jigleg's library. When Shea Gorath discovered the library, he had it burned, insisting that it was an abomination and that personal choice defied logical prediction. I am all that remains of the knowledge contained within the great library of Jigleg. Well, for once, I kind of agree with him. I mean, yeah, that, uh, this, this, it's damn useful, but it's also really disturbing to think that, well, you knew that I'd be coming, and why, and... You know, if you could give me a, an insight into what happens next in the, in, in the Oblivion Crisis, that'd be nice, too. Following each cycle of the Grey March, Shea Gorath has cast out or killed every aspect of order found in the Shivering Isles. I alone have survived. Shea Gorath cannot bring himself to destroy the knowledge that I possess. Instead, he's confined me to this place and forbidden me to die. I have not seen another creature until fate, predictably, sent you to me. All right. I've not heard enough, but that is uh, all, I'm gonna, all I'm going to get. Knife Point Hollow is my prison. As the great library, it once contained all the knowledge in creation. However, spare me your grief. My imprisonment is as meaningless as my immortality. Time and place are nothing. Constructs of a feeble mortal mind attempting to categorize and understand the world around it. If you were one of the fortunate few, you would one day understand and accept this. However, you are not, and you will not. You know what? Screw you. Let's get let's get to business. I can create the physical shell of the staff, but the divine essence must be gathered elsewhere. But apotheosis is no simple matter, and the creation of the staff is no simple task. I will require two sacred items in order to complete it. All right. What? Well, let's be perverse and go for the second. The trees first. and branches of this realm feed from a deep font of madness and mystery. Well, yeah, one of the oldest trees, know about it. named the Tree of Shades, lies in the halls of Milkar. Milkar is a place of ruin, root, and mania. Yeah, I know it. I've been there. Go there and bring me a branch of this tree, but be warned. The tree will not surrender its secrets to one who has not earned them. Bring me your trials. I am not afraid. The Shivering Isles hold many secrets, but few remain unseen by mortal eyes. The staff is a tool of great vision, and thus requires the eye of one who has witnessed one of these unseen secrets firsthand. Sirta resides in the Howling Halls, and find her and bring me the eye that is seen that which no other has. Howling Halls. Do I know that? Yes. Only then can I create an appropriate vessel to hold the power that is inherent in the Lord of this realm. The staff may allow you to occupy the throne of madness, but understand that such a feat has never been attempted. Well, you know, it's just a bit All of trying to steal God. Eh? that you will fail. It is a certainty. However, I also predict that this will not stop you from trying. Damn straight. The roots of the Tree of Shades run into the heart of the Shivering Isles. It is said that the tree feeds from waters of the Grove of Reflection. The Grove can show men who they truly are. Only after facing the truth will the Tree of Shades give up its branches to you. So like some kind of Yoda shit? The staff of Sheogorath holds the secrets of this realm. 
As such, it requires a vessel that has witnessed dark secrets. Sirta has seen things with her eyes that no mortal has. Because of this, her eye will serve well to contain that which the staff must hold. All right. I can create the physical shell of the staff, but the divine essence must be gathered elsewhere. The staff of Shale Gorath contains a portion of the divine power of the Daedric Prince. It is the embodiment of Shale Gorath and of this land. Should you succeed, you will be the first mortal to have a dedicated Daedric artifact in your possession. This will be most interesting indeed. First mortal, huh? I mean, I've been walking around with this one, and I've been kind of hoarding the that armor that Hersene gave me, but I guess that, yeah, I'm, I'm the first. Where's the door out of here? Howling halls. No car. Howling halls. Uh, let's go to no car first because it's close. We can drop our the hell of suicides and give Medesia's skull back. You know, there's one thing I don't really like about Oblivion, it's just how how tanky most of the enemies are. Like, that was, uh, I think it's something like 30, 30 da 100, 130 damage fireball, and a 200 damage fireball that it just soaked up like nothing. And then, this sword has actually been enchanted to, de to deal with like 120 damage per swing. Ah, there you go. The reason I've been I'm using the sword more than more than my stones is because well, it does more consistent damage, and it's doesn't doesn't drain drain my heavily enhanced mana in no in no time, you know. Thirty-nine, thirty-nine hearts of order. Okay. Set that. Love a sword that can fuel its own power, right?
Delivery! Delivery from Odessi! So we got uh, Salonia. Anyone else still here? L Limark. Salonia and Limark. Okay. Sorry for the little detour, folks, but we just need to get that knocked out of the way. Of course, just gonna get back up now. See any gloves? I'm gonna assume no. Oh, no, that's just the waterfall, which is blowing for some reason. Don't question it. long-lasting duration thing. Spirit Blessing. What does what's that do then? Oh, it fortifies fatigue. That's what we mean. Hey Split, hey Town, that, that I won't be helping today because I don't care about your problems. So the, these guys deal is that somehow there's two versions of each person and they don't like this because, you know, it's one half mania, one half dementia and they want me to kill half of them because they can't kill themselves or it'll be suicide and their soul will be trapped forever. Shigorath is already jig lag, I guess. So there's really no time pressure to cut something from detouring. Which is good, because I need to pick up something from this place anyway. Yeah, this guy named Pike used to be a knight, but uh, then he got here, fell in love, and even though he doesn't really use the, the, the amulet anymore, still wants me to find it for him. Don't know about that, don't really care.
Like, look at that. I am not even scratching him. Oops. Gosh, I love this mod. Basically, lets you store things in in basically basically bag of holding. Ha! Yes. Yeah. Oh, hi. Yes. Yes. Ow! It's cheating. No, I don't care because everything in everything in Oblivion weighs ridiculous amounts. Stalemate. Except not because I have magic. I honestly have no idea where I'm going with this. You guys need to stop. Oh. Did you just block that with your arm? Ah! Man, that's hardcore. Off the edge you go. We'll bring that back on our way home. What what level what item just leveled up? Huh, we'll figure it out, I guess. So we'll head out after we use this urn. And we can continue to save the realm, and by extension the world, I guess, kind of. Let's just see if I find the door. Yeah, about that. That's, that's really not gonna work. Okay, really, where's the door? I don't want to go that way, though. I came in from there. Ow. Well, screw me. I guess I just don't have a choice now. There's no way up through this way. Oh, no, there is. Wonderful.
you know, maybe it's a funny habit to always quick save for leaving leaving an area. But uh, I remember playing New Vegas, and yeah, that's uh, it's just a habit I kind of picked up because nothing nothing nothing's worse than going out and doing a big quest than going to leave an area and <laughs> the game crashes, you know. That was stupid, I shouldn't have wasted that. Which door are we going into? Because this place has like five, five entrances that all lead to the same place. It's, it's pointing me to hail. Oh, right, the tree. That's the next. That's where where everything comes together. Oh. I'm still silent, so I can't heal myself. It's wonderful. Templar helmet. Is that, uh, is that is that part of the mod? There we go. So let's review. This sword does 24 damage by itself, plus another 20 points of fire, another 30 points of frost, another 30 points of shock. So we're doing, let's see, 60, 80, 104 damage per swing. So that thing has something like 300 health. And an extra level destruction spell does 200. It's like, yes. Magic is awesome in this game, but it's also... Well, it's not that magic isn't awesome, it's that everything gets over-leveled, you know? Hey, awesome. That's also awesome, because last time I came here, this wasn't... Oh, this wasn't a day level. Hi. Is that the way I need to go? Looks like it. Oh crap, you're fighting, I'm fighting me, I'm fighting me. Well, crap. If I'd known that, I, I would've taken- take me down. Uh, If I'd known that, I would've taken my armor off. So yeah, it, it really is a whole Luke and Yoda kind of thing. Shadow Rend. two-handed version of Umbra. Which is to say, kind of disgusting. 
Because I don't, I don't do two handed. Also weighs nearly sixty pounds. Sirta in the Howling Halls. there I thought I was going to say okay you can go to the go straight to Howling Halls now and I was thinking yeah that'd be wonderful but I don't have to walk there and yes I know that fast travel is an option but honestly I kind of don't like fast travel because it just doesn't really how to put it Interesting things always seem to happen when I travel. And so... Oh, you're outside already, okay. And so fast traveling just kind of cuts out half the game, you know? It's like it... I think Gophers actually explained a bit of, of why this is. It's like... If you, when you fast travel, you don't think about where you're going. You don't think about what you're doing. You just, it's just, oh, I want to go from one end of one end of the place to another. Sure, no problem. Let's fast travel. Doesn't get you any thinking about it. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go to hell. You just kind of go places. You blink in and out. Whereas if you're walking places you actually get thing saying okay what can I do where where can I stop by what do I need what do I need to do while I'm in this area I really love the night sky in in the shivering isles it's so beautiful you talk too much Sorry for being kind of quiet. Just getting you thinking. It's like last last time I came here, there was a giant hole in the world, and so I'm just kind of going like, yeah, that, it's it's glad. I'm I'm glad when things work. When I don't talk, when I don't find places I can just fall through the world. Hello, Hello it's me. I'm not sure why you think that would work. Give me a man that we may fight the other.
Uh, alien. Where's the guy I need? Hey, wh where's the colony is it coming from and why? for you to leave my friend okay just quickly you need to hand this over any word on my medallion uh yeah here it is wait a moment Might I say you're looking awfully if you're wooden in my manners you reek of the bogs you must have been to the fetid grove my medallion ha, I don't know how to thank you I have decided to stay here in the shivering isles I found peace here and I see no reason to return. Therefore, I'll not be needing this anymore. Please take it as a reward. What did I get? Overloaded. That's what I got. You know, I really want to know why I'm... Why I'm in combat and with what? Answer. There you go. Oh. You know, you're very good at hiding. I'd like to take lessons. And in the interest of brevity, I'm going to make a sacrifice and fast travel straight to, straight to the Howling, Hollow, Howling Halls because I bet you guys aren't, aren't, aren't interested in watching me walk around. I'm sure you're interested in, wa in watching me fix my things, though. Actually, what, what, what did that thing do, anyway? Fortified log, reflect spell. Eh, not bad. Last time I was here, there it was full of heretics. There's this door down here I couldn't open. Apostle, huh? That's new. of what, I wonder? You look way too much like Brother Martin, and that, that's not making up. of dread. Do I have that? I do not. I'm sorry, it's in my instincts to take a ball of treasure when it's right there. Sure. 
Why are you giving me booze? What's going on? You, you do not belong here. Quickly, put on a robe before the others see you. They will kill you on sight. My, what big Please, teeth you have. I mean you know violence. Perhaps you can help me. Good, good. Your face is known to me. One so famous as you cannot expect to walk around the aisles unrecognized, can you? Well, yeah, but I'm you are the to see with your eyes And Sheogorat has sent you to find Sirta, has he not? He finally seeks to kill her? Still, for whatever reason you are here, you mean Sirta ill, yes? Don't bother refuting me, I know the truth. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, yes, yes, I do. I mean, to but pluck her eyes out with a spoon. But there here who want her gone as well, yes. <laughs> those of us who think that maybe we could lead better than she does. So, if you will help me, I will help you. Sirta will die, and you will not need to lift a finger. Then you can take whatever you need and go. So what do you want me to do? I require weapons. For myself and for the apostles that will help me do the deed. But Sirta already is suspicious of me. She has forbidden me and those who support me from carrying weapons. And suspicious would it look if we were to wander around gathering them. <laughs> Very clever, your grace. Bring to me three apostle daggers. Sirta must be slain with the weapons of the light if I am to take her place. No other weapons. But you must be discreet. Do not remove the robes, or you will be attacked. Even I will have to kill you, so I do not draw more suspicion to myself. And be cautious of killing my allies. I cannot forgive that crime. You will know them, as they are also forbidden to carry daggers. Will you help me bring the apostles to the light? And help yourself. Ah. Oh yeah, why do you want your, why do you want your Too death? long, Sirta has led us here. Always against Sheogorath. Always. We are tired of her vendetta. <coughs> Sirta brought us here with promises to show us the light. But always is about Sheogorath. Is about revenge. Sirta lied, but when she is done, I will lead the Acolytes to the light. Let's put aside the fact that if she hasn't led you to the light, then you can't really lead them to the light. And let's just say yes. Let's go kill us some apostles. Good, good. Bring to me the daggers. Then kill Sirta we will. <laughs> 